Um, I'm going to be talking to you guys today about fast food chains and their negative effects on the environment. Um, my main claim is that fast food chains fail to protect the environment by not recycling. Um, I'm going to support this by telling you guys about how the oil and how if it's um, dis disposed of improperly, it can harm the environment and the ecosystem. I'm also going to talk to you guys about how um, fast food chains fail to recycle their containers or use recycled containers. Um, so for my first supporting claim, um, I'm talking about how oil is disposed of improperly and um, it can get to our water supply. When that happens, if you think about how much oil they use, um, even if just a little bit gets to our water supply, it creates something called oxygenation. Oxygenation. Um, when water or when the oil sits on top of the water and then um, the oxygen can't get out and it also prevents the lighting. Um, when the lighting is affected, it affects the biodiversity of like the animals and the plants that live in there. If um, some of the plants can't live, then like say the fish that were eating that plant dies off. It's kind of like a chain of reaction and it affects the food chain. Um, the East Bay Utility District has a website on this and it shows like how it all works. Um, it also shows how it affects, like sometimes I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but um, it's more for households. If people dispose of their oil in the toilet, um, it causes sewage backups and it costs a lot of money to fix that. Um, also when fumes are burned from the oil, that can harm the environment. Um, basically, the only way to like solve it is kind of use oil as um, a renewable energy source. Um, I was also going to talk to you guys about how fast food chains fail to recycle their containers. Um, a lot of their containers or the trash in general ends up around our campus, um, full of the trash bins and in our landfill. Um, some of them aren't recyclable, but some of them are. <coughs> but a lot of other countries are doing are um, they have like a setup. They kind of have it in the BSC where like there's like recyclables like for plastic, there's something for paper, and then there's also something for the food. Um, paper, according to Melissa Mann me of the Green Living website is um, one third of our landfill waste and if there was like a landfill specifically for um, paper it would eventually disintegrate so that's another thing to look at. Um, for the stuff that is recyclable like the bottles and whatnot there aren't really um, designated areas there's usually just like a tray that you can throw your food away in. And um, currently there are no laws or regulations making fast food chains recycle. So once again, my claim was that um, fast food chains fail to protect the environment by not recycling. Uh, you identify your claim. I thought the phrasing on the claim was a little bit confusing. There's some terminology in it that is uh, backwards. You've got the negative phrasing in it also, so that's problematic. Uh, you've got the argument structured into two parts, so that's pretty clear. Um, and you signpost those as you get to those points, so structurally you're doing okay. Uh, but I didn't see, I didn't hear any information about how much waste is coming from fast food companies. And I didn't see an example of um, a fast food place that's improperly disposing of either, you know, whatever oils it is that they have. It wasn't even clear to me what kind of oil you were talking about, whether it was fuel oil for their trucks or cooking oil that uh, then has to be disposed of. I. 
I don't really know. And, like I said, I don't have any proof that any companies, much less fast food companies in particular, are disposing of their oil in improper ways. There's a large presupposition that because there's no regulation, there must be something that's being done wrong. Uh, but I don't even know that... Uh, that's the case, uh, that there is no regulation. You say that there isn't, but there's no information that's, that demonstrates that, so I think that's a little bit problematic. <laughs> On the uh, other kinds of waste, there was a little bit of information about uh, paper waste and w what percentage of the fast food uh, waste might be recyclable or um, be able to be disposed of in a safe way. So there's one uh, particular quote on that with a statistic attached to it, but again, uh, there's no information that talks about how significant a part of the trash problem this is or where it's causing any problems. We've just got speculative problems on this. So I think that there's just not enough connection between the points that are being presented and the claims that are being given. Uh, your grounds don't seem like they're strong enough to reach the conclusions that you're presenting and uh, you're, you're, you're making some big presuppositions on that argument. All right, thank you. Robert is going to be our next speaker.